This is going to be the Northwest Regional Cascade Alliance of Equity Summit. This is going to be the first student-led one. Happy now for your students, yourselves for being here today. I'm here today as the MC and host of the CAFE Summit. Could you introduce yourself today? Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. This year, we decided that this summit would be led by students in K-12, and we had elementary, middle, and high school students presenting at today's summit. Students' experiences are important. Students' experience deserve to be asked, what is your experience? So even though that's a simple step, that's the most important step, and it's a step that's not often taken. What I hope that educators take away from this summit is a new understanding of the students' perspectives. The most important thing for me is empathy, because you have to have this ability to connect with all sorts of people. You have to make bonds and forge connections with people. And you have to understand their perspective, especially when you're working with different groups of people and trying to solve issues. I was hoping that they could take away how to improve our school systems and make it a safer and more enjoyable learning space for students of all races, genders, religions as well. It made me feel like I gave my point of view on how I see things in my school and how other students see like, things in our school and how things can change and could be like for the better because I know some students have experienced things that they don't want to publicly talk about. Our session was called Mirror the Understanding and we started the session by doing a little skit of what we see in classrooms and then we did like a four corners activity to see how the teachers reacted to the skit and saw their perspective of it. And then we did a skit of how we want to see classrooms change and how we want it to go instead and how we can manage all students feeling heard in classrooms. The students, they want black teachers but also they want to learn more black history. What I'm hoping our department can do is maybe fund black history courses that are taught through our local community colleges and our universities. I hope that like, they take back the fact that this is going on and everywhere, like not even just America, not even just Oregon. Like, they take it back to their school and they can kind of present this in the way where they can do their own research on it and talk to their school boards about it. I was very excited about this opportunity for the students at the elementary level. To be able to have this opportunity to start them young is really important for them to feel empowered. I heard them say that this was a powerful experience for them to be in affinity and to be able to share with each other in a safe place. People take for granted how much life and how much thought and intelligence younger people have and now they are able to be up in the front and stand and talk and people are actively listening. In a way that was a teaching exchange of information and the educators were sitting there just to listen and to understand and to overall and importantly learn from them and I feel like that is, is what makes up entirely of empowering student voices. And I hope really the educators and superintendents and the people that are attending this event are able to understand those perspectives and apply that back into the classroom next year.